So these days, I tend to wake up a tad bit later than usual. Normally, it takes me about 30 minutes door to door to the office, so I've been using that time to get a few extra minutes of sleep. I try to stick to my normal morning routine just so that it gets me physically and mentally prepared for the day. Since I spend literally 99% of my day cooped up in my room, having everything organized and neat is a must. I always make sure to make my bed in the morning, clear off my desk and wash all of my dirty cups, and open the window to let in some fresh air and sunlight. I'm someone who overthinks and worries a lot, so recently the news and hourly calls for my mom has been making me feel a little anxious. I find that podcasts have just the right amount of information to keep me informed, but not too much to make me feel overwhelmed. Recently, I have been investing more time into my morning skincare routine and ditching the makeup entirely. One, because I'm a bit lazy, and two, this is the perfect time to let my skin breathe, and I've been definitely seeing some results. Okay, I might look a little funny in these shots, but I always try to make time in the morning to stretch for 10 minutes. Usually at the office, I would walk around, mingle in the pantry, go work on a different floor, but working from home, I have just been sitting in my chair all day, so stretching and keeping your body moving is so, so important. The last piece to my work from home morning routine is getting changed into real clothes. I'm trying my best to replicate my usual work routine, and that does not include being in my pajamas all day. It's around 9.30 and it's time to kick off my workday. I start off by checking emails and Slack messages and catch up with my teammates online. Every day, I construct a new to-do list which consists of tasks that I need to get done. This helps me stay focused and organized and helps me visualize all the things that I need to do and rethink if I really need that 3 p.m. nap on my bed that's just a couple inches away. I try to limit myself to one cup of cold brew every day, but an unlimited amount of water. I bring this bright green water bottle around with me wherever I go to remind myself to stay hydrated. Every morning, I have stand up with my product team for 15 minutes. After that, I like to schedule any one-on-ones and other regroups before lunch. This way, I can spend the rest of my day with big chunks of time to do deep work. One thing that I've been pushing myself to do is to make use of the different spaces around me. My room isn't too big, but I was able to create a small nook next to the window with sunlight and a nice view of my plants, and I love taking my meetings here. Since I have another monitor on my desk, it can be a bit distracting during meetings, and so by detaching my laptop and moving to a new space, I found that I'm able to concentrate a lot better. It's finally lunchtime. My company provided breakfast and lunch every day, so I didn't realize how much I took advantage of that until I started to work from home. I love cooking on the weekends, but throughout the work week, it's been a struggle. So I just keep it simple and eat whatever's in my fridge. Today, I made my favorite pork and chive dumplings. After lunch, it's finally time to do some deep work. I try to hash out all of the things that I need to get done during this time. In order to increase productivity and avoid burnout, I've really been liking this app that helps me track 25 minute work intervals with short five minute breaks in between. On this particular day, I had to wrap up my analysis for a new A-B test, get my code peer reviewed, and start making the share out deck. When I filmed this, it was actually one of the most stressful work from home weeks because there was just so much to do and I was still trying to find my rhythm of working in this new environment.
If you see me continuously drawing on my whiteboard, it's because I'm trying to lay out my story. Storytelling is a huge part of what I do day to day, and I like to brainstorm the flow and overall picture of the story that I want to tell. The time flies by and it's time for a long break. I remind myself to get up, stretch, and go to the kitchen to refill my water bottle. I also get a bit hungry around this time, so I grab some cereal to munch on while I continue to work. It's finally nearing the end of my workday. These days, it's been really hard for me to separate work from life because they both coexist inside of my tiny apartment. But at some point, I need to force myself to just close my laptop and call it a day. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!